Okay, what I'm showing you all here is a uh, just a video update on a long-term Nathan Stubblefield magnetic motor device that I've had running. Um, this is day 48 that it's been running without any uh, any changes to the design of the coil or without wetting it down or opening windows at night or any of that nonsense uh, to keep it going. This has been in a air-conditioned, controlled environment, very low humidity. Um, it's been running continuously during that time and I will go over a few of the changes that I made to this uh, that really help it run better. But um, I, do, I also want to point out that the coil itself is uh, over 81 days old but I've had it running uh, this motor for 48 days now. And uh, so, what did I do different? Um, 48 days ago, I dipped this coil one time in salt water. And uh, what that did is it rusted off the, um, the zinc galvanized coating on the iron wire over about a three or four day period. Um, the coil dried out, it formed a really hard, uh, rusty, uh, caking between the the cotton covered copper wire and the iron wire so this thing's uh, held together very nicely now but it's dried out it's hard as a rock now I'm sure there's obviously some level of moisture there but it's it's nothing to speak of um, the second thing I did that made this possible to keep this running this is creating uh, <laughs> last time I checked there was hardly enough voltage to even measure on this thing uh, less than a quarter volt but uh, what I did that seemed to really make this work was I added another reed switch. So I have one reed switch on this side and one on this side. And most of my motors prior to this I was running a, a single reed switch. I had experimented with a double reed switch to increase my RPM. But in this application it's uh, crucial to keeping it running. So this uh, first reed switch here, the, uh, the wires on it, we run um, along here to the outer iron inner copper this reed switch over here goes to the outer copper inner iron. So what happens here is the magnet comes along, it goes by this reed switch and it um, sets up a magnetic field, a north-south magnetic field. But then as it um, approaches this reed switch, it drops this and the north-south magnetic field actually completely flips. So instead of just pulsing this one direction, we're actually uh, pushing and pulling on these magnets. Uh, secondly, that should keep our core from uh, polarizing in a single magnetic field direction. So there's a lot of good reasons uh, to experiment with that. But like I said, I've had this uh, out here for 48 days, um, just continuously running. I'm very, very happy with that. I think it's a great long-term uh, test and I will just let it keep running. I have no reason to stop it. It's kind of fun here to, uh, to have this ongoing experiment. I don't want to give the false idea that it's never stopped for a short time during that 48 days. I did have it stopped for, I don't know, 45 minutes as I drove it from my house uh, out to this location at one point. Um, I've taken the rotor off a couple times to modify the magnetic balance to try to balance the rotor. But overall, in that 48 period day period, uh, it's just been a matter of a few hours, if even that, that this has ever been stopped or not running. I'm very happy with the way these reed switches are holding up. I, I had become a little disappointed in these reed switches from Electronics Goldmine, but at this uh, negligible voltage level that this coil is at, they seem to just work great. In 48 days, like I said, we'll let this run on and see, but uh, I see no indication that this setup is going to stop uh, anytime soon, if, if even in my lifetime. I mean, this, I do not see further evidence of the coil resting over the initial little bit of rust that it it took on during that uh, initial saltwater application but probably for the last 30 days or so I've not been able to detect, detect any increase in uh, rust on this coil so pretty excited about this I do have a lot of plans uh, that will enable me to take this to the next level so I do not plan on stopping here just thought I'd post an update and encourage you all to carry on research with the uh, Nathan Stubblefield coil. There's really something to this one, folks. So, carry on. Talk with you later. Bye.